Welcome to the Selective Pro user training video. Before we cover the Selective Pro system, let's take a look at how it works and what makes it so effective. Selective Pro is powered by the proprietary Impreza ultrasound technology. The ultrasound waves are channeled through the hair shaft without any effect to the surrounding skin. In the shaft, the ultrasound energy transforms into thermal energy that creates long-term effects on the hair growth mechanism. The Selective Pro system includes three components, the main unit, the probe, and the foot pedal. Let's get acquainted with the different parts of the system. At the top of the panel, we have three green mode indication lights, which indicate the selected mode of operation. We will go over the modes in the next section of the video. Right beneath the mode indication lights, we have the mode selection button and the mute button. Towards the bottom of the panel, there are two status lights that provide an indication regarding the status of the system. At the very bottom is the power indicator. A green light indicates that the system is on. In the center of the system is the probe, mounted in the probe holder. Now let's look at the back panel. This is the probe connector, D-type, the power on-off switch, and the foot pedal connector. On the other side of the back panel is the power socket. Now let's take a look at the probe. These are the two gripping tips that grab the hair and transmit the ultrasound wave. Between them, there is an illumination and pulse indicator that lights the treated area and flashes with the ultrasonic pulse. The light may be switched off and on by pressing the mute button for three seconds. The multipurpose button is easy to use in a 1-2-3 operation. 1. To open the gripping tips, press the front. 2. To initiate the ultrasonic pulse, press the center. 3. To close the gripping tips and pluck the hair, press the rear. This is optional. For your convenience, the foot pedal can be used instead of the pulse initiation button number 2 to trigger the pulse. Make sure the hair length is approximately 3 mm. The mode setting is used to adjust for optimal treatment for the specific body area. Recommendations for the number of treatments and intervals between treatments can be found in the user manual. The first treatment mode is generally appropriate for facial areas such as chin, eyebrows, upper lip, ears, and the knuckles. The second treatment mode is optimal for armpits, bikini line, beard, and legs. And the third mode is for the areola, neck, and upper back. Now let's get to the actual treatment. Place probe in holder. Turn on the power switch at the back of the main unit and wait for the system to perform self-testing and calibration. The status LED on the front panel will turn from orange to green when the system is ready for use. This can take up to one minute. Select the desired mode according to the body part. Take out the probe from its holder and start the 1-2-3 operation for each hair. 1. Press the open button to open the tip. Grip the hair you wish to treat as close to the skin as possible but without actually touching the skin. Release the open button. The tips will close and hold the target hair. 2. Trigger an ultrasonic pulse by pressing the ultrasonic pulse initiation button or foot pedal. During the ultrasonic pulse, a buzzer sounds and the illumination LED flashes. Stay still until the light and sound are over. 3. Once the ultrasonic pulse is over, you have the option to push the button rear and gently pull out the hair. Even if you don't pull the hair out, it should eventually fall out on its own. If you choose to turn off the sound, press the mute button. You can also choose to turn off the illumination LED by pressing the mute button for 3 seconds. Notice the light will still flash during the pulse. 
For best results, treat hair that is about 3 mm long. If the hair is longer, shorten it to the desired length. Grip the hair as close to the skin as possible, but without actually touching the skin. It is best to work against the hair growth direction. Make sure that the upper tip cover is always in place and avoid touching the skin with the tip. The selective system will provide an advance warning for replacing the lower gripping tip or the entire probe. The indication is provided by the system status LEDs and the three mode LEDs on the front panel. The system will alert when the gripping tip reaches 90% of its capacity. The status LED will blink rapidly in orange. You may continue working as before. Make sure you have additional gripping tips or place an order. When the gripping tip reached 100% capacity, the status light will turn to static orange and modes A and B will be blinking. You will not be able to trigger any more pulses. Follow these instructions to replace the gripping tip. Turn the power on, remove the probe from its holder and turn it upside down. Using the designated key, pull the safety cap out and remove the tip from the probe. Take a new gripping tip from the package and fit it into the probe until it is firmly secured. Place the probe back in its holder and wait while the system performs self-testing and calibration. The status LED will turn green when the system is ready for use. The system will alert when the probe reaches 90% of its capacity. The status LED will blink slowly in orange. You may continue working as before. Make sure to place an order for an additional probe. When the probe reaches 100% capacity, the status light will turn to static orange and mode A will be blinking. You will not be able to trigger any more pulses. Here is how to replace the probe. Turn off the power supply on the back of the system. Unplug the existing probe. Connect the new probe and secure it. Turn the system on and wait while the system performs self-testing and calibration. The green LED on the front panel will indicate when the system is ready for use. When the status light is red, check that the foot pedal is properly connected and that the trigger button on the probe is not pressed. The mode and status indicators on the front panel will provide you with immediate notifications when there is a problem with the system. Let's go over these notifications. When the status light is red and the A mode is blinking, the probe has been disconnected. Turn system off, reconnect the probe, and continue working. When the status light is red and B mode is blinking, the gripping tip is disconnected. Connect a new gripping tip according to the instructions. During self-test and calibration, the probe should be in its holder. If you remove the probe before final calibration, you will notice status light red and the mode A and C lights are blinking. Place probe back to its holder. When the status light is red and the A plus B mode lights are blinking, there is a probe or pulse malfunction. Return probe to its holder, restart the system, and wait for calibration to end. Remember, the Selective Pro system is easy to use and highly effective when used and maintained properly. We hope you will enjoy your Selective Pro system for many years to come.